In 2010, NEA embarked on the Phase 2 development of Samarkau Landfill, as the Phase 1 landfill cells were projected to be filled by early 2016. Faced with limited supply and high cost of sand, and the challenge of maximizing the landfill capacity, the remaining 45% sea space was developed into a single landfill cell instead of a multi-cell design in Phase 1. Phase 2 landfill cell was formed by closing the remaining 160-meter gap at the southern tip of the perimeter bund. Under Phase 2 development, a 200-meter-long floating platform was built to allow dump trucks to safely discharge the incineration ash across various parts of the landfill cell. The Phase 2 cell is huge and seabed uneven. The floating platform is used to spread the incineration ash to raise the seabed to a depth of about 2 meters before landfill operations can be carried out safely. As incineration ash and rainfall fill up the Phase 2 cell, the water level within the cell will rise. To maintain the water level in the cell, a floating wastewater treatment plant was also constructed to treat the excess water to meet effluent discharge standards before discharging into the open sea. Phase 2 was completed in July 2015 at a cost of $36 million. Measures were also taken during the landfill's construction to protect Samakau Island's vibrant ecosystem and rich biodiversity. In July 2005, Samakau Landfill was open for educational visits. Since then, schools and community organizations typically organized educational tours to Samakau Landfill for students and public to learn about the waste management system in Singapore, design and operation of Samakau Landfill. Samaka Landfill is expected to be filled by 2035. If every one of us play our part, making 3R, reducing, reusing and recycling a way of life, we will be able to prolong the lifespan of our only landfill.